We grew up in rubble. We grew up with burnt out decay all over us. The South Bronx was burning down around us and nobody seemed to know why. Everything south of the Cross Bronx Expressway, they just let it burn and nobody gave a damn. And all of a sudden, neighborhoods just went whoosh, gone. Nobody's aware of the fact that we got a city dump right here in, in, in the backyard. How could city government allow this to happen? Who was in charge? Why? The story we were told, the story the whole world was told, was that the fires were somehow our fault. But we didn't burn the Bronx. We were the ones who saved it. I said, no, wait a minute. I have to make my move right now. The reason we're trying to do all these things is to show an example to the rest of the people in the neighborhood that if you just try, you could make a lot better neighborhood. If no one else wants to fight, we'll fight. And I'm sure that I could get all the women in the Bronx to go out there and fight. government can in, come in so and wave a wand and do this. We try to get money from the city to renovate a building. We got red tape, two, three years maybe. Two, three years, there might not be a Kelly Street. This story is not just about the Bronx. There are places like this in every major city in America. Places that everyone has given up on, except for us. We came from this so-called terrible place but we would never leave it behind.